All right, so it had been a while since I told a fight story, and you know, I've got plenty more. So I'm gonna tell you one that is a not fight story. Well, no, it's not true. It's actually totally a fight story, but a story where I kind of fought, but then I made sure that we didn't fight, and you know, and I can just give you kind of the ethics behind my decision-making process there. So, first of all, like the channel, then subscribe, ring the bell, etc. Then you'll find out about all these stories that I got. So here's the deal. So to age this story, if you can figure out when this happened, then you'll know when this happened. So there was a UFC on the night that this happened, and the light heavyweight champion smacked the of the challenger who was trying to fight and take his belt during that fight. So, if you could figure that out, like patted him on the ass mid fight. So if you can figure that out, you'll know exactly when this happened. Okay, so here is the story. My roommate and best friend's name was Mike, okay? Is, still my best friend. But we lived together at the time, okay? Now he was dating this girl, Jessica, who he and her had a very volatile relationship, okay? Now I told the story another time about her where she was in the house and the guys who we had just beat up came back, tried to break into the house and it was terrifying for her. Okay, so that same people. And so this one night, it was the, the night of that UFC. We were watching it at uh, one of my buddy's house and this was, you know, like early, early 20s where if you watch UFC, you know, you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, I can't remember ever actually getting in a fight any other night when a UFC was on. I mean, their UFCs were on like every three months back then. So the odds of something happening like on that night were slim. This was an exception to that rule. So we had a huge party at my buddy Jason's house. You'll remember him from such stories as when I smacked his friend across the face and uh, the one with bibs that I just told about how not to pick a girlfriend, same guy. So we're over at his house and we, it's a huge party, right? And like, so we end up out in the front yard after the party and Mike and Jessica get in some huge fight, standard procedure, okay? These guys, they got in fights constantly, 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 okay? So she's gone. Mike's being a baby. He's acting like he doesn't care, but he does. And then he's talking to some girl and then whatever. Just, this, just the standard one plus one equals two with those two, like constant, constant drama, just like that. So. I am in the front area, like out in front of the garage, and Jessica comes walking around the corner with some dude. And I was like, oh man. So I have no idea how they ended up together, but this guy had decided that he was going to walk Jessica back to this party. Now, in Jessica's defense, that's not how she rolled. She was definitely not a, I'm gonna make people jealous girl. Now she was a very jealous girl, but she didn't play the jealousy card on purpose generally. I think that this guy probably was just an actual nice guy and was like, well, actually, what am I talking about? This guy was for sure trying to bang her, but I don't think that she like brought it on herself. I don't think she was like, here, walk me back to this party so I can make my boyfriend mad. That I don't think is what happened, but she comes walking in with this dude and I'm standing with Mike and I looked at him and he, dude, his eyes were just like, Oh man, I just was like, Mike. So she walked over and Mike's already barking at this guy. I was like, Mike, chill, dude, chill. Cause she, and Jessica had already, Jessica's with Mike now. And she's like, relax, Mike. He was just walking me back. He's just nice. And Mike's going, bruh, 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 bruh. this guy literally is just like, stand, the guy, the guy wasn't scared though. And the guy was just like, okay, bro, he's being dismissive. Mike's getting louder. This guy did dirt, dirt. And you know, I actually can't remember exactly what the guy said, but the guy said something. Cause I was the one keeping this from escalating. Cause I was like, this guy didn't do anything wrong. Just chill, just chill, just chill. Mike just yell, 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 yell. And finally this guy said something that was so, uh, you know, antagonizing that I went, all right, go get him. So Mike, and Mike ran at him. Now I was behind Mike, so I couldn't really see what happened, but they got into it and then they were kind of like wrestling around and then they ended up up against the wall. Mike's a tough guy and Mike was not like doing anything. Like where I was like, Mike, what are you doing? I was like, what are you doing? I was like, Mike, do something. This guy was kind of pushing Mike up against the wall, whatever. And then when they separated, Mike, Mike's nose was broken. Like this guy had broken his nose right as Mike ran up to start fighting. So that's why Mike wasn't doing anything yet broken nose. So when it was broken up, now you got to keep in mind, this guy is at a party with me and all my, I mean, we had, there were so many of our friends there. We got there had to have been 40 or 50 guys there. Okay. And after the fight breaks up, you know, you have like a, a team of piranhas surrounding this guy, right? Like all these guys that are like my buddies, but they're like younger. And I was like, chill, chill, chill. So I'm keeping all these guys on a leash. I'm like, no, 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 you know, literally these guys are like, 
And like all of them just wanted to mob this guy. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I am telling, I'm like telling them to chill. I'm telling the guy to leave. And I'm like, all right, dude, it's fine. Just go. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. And he's like walking backwards. And I'm kind of walking, I'm facing him, walking towards him, keeping the rest of these guys at bay, right? And he's walking backwards, walking backwards, and there's one other person who was with him, one of my friends, I can't even remember who it was, but they were walking with him, and they they, they apparently knew him. And they were like talking to this guy, and by the way, as it turns out, this guy had just like won some street fight tournament before this, okay? Like, I don't even know where this would have happened, but we found this out afterwards. He, like, he was like a bare knuckle boxer, okay? So like when Mike charged him, he just went, and just broke his nose. Anyway, so he's walking backwards, walking backwards. I'm trying to let him go. Whoever his friend was, who I can't remember, is like talking to him. And so he's about to leave. And he, keep in mind, the nose he broke is literally my best friend. Like that I live, my best friend, like my best friend. But it was my best friend's fault, right? Like I'm not gonna let 50 guys jump this guy because my idiot friend spazzed out because his jealous, you know, he's jealous of his girlfriend when they're always fighting. But anyway, so the guy's walking backwards and then he goes, yeah, don't get mad because I fucked up your boy. And I just went, all right, you want a title shot, now you're gonna get it. So I took my shirt off and I, and I just, you know, closed the distance on this guy. So I speared this guy, got him on the ground, flipped him over, and then had him in like a choke, and then realized, holy shit, all these other guys are now about to jump this guy. So I had flipped him over, and there, I, I'm literally looking at, I know what it would be like to get jumped now because, I mean, they, they were literally surrounded by piranhas. And as soon as I saw that, I went, no! And so I stopped, I literally stopped fighting this guy. And I was like, don't do it! And I was like, no, 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 no. And so I had this guy in a choke, and I was like, this is your lucky night, motherfucker. Don't talk on your way out. And he just kind of sat there, like, you know, because he realized he was about to get stomped into the ground. And right as I'm about to let him up, Mike comes running up and just <laughs> kicks him in the balls. <laughs> I had him literally like this in like a rear naked or whatever, you know, and he, so he's on his back helpless and Mike ran up and kicked him in the balls. It's a hundred percent true story. So I saved this guy's life. Then he ran his mouth. Then I, you know, again, to be honest with you, who knows what would have happened if I, like, I didn't realize because I was in front of everybody. So I, I deadbolt this guy. I have no idea what he saw. He. Yeah, you know, in my mind, when I first, you know, kind of engaged with the guy, I thought that we were just one-on-one -on -one and I had whatever, like, in his view, he had just unleashed probably 40 guys running at him. So I'm not even going to take credit for the position that I had him in. I will only take credit for the fact that I made sure that no one jumped in once I realized this was going to be a completely unfair fight that he didn't earn, right? Like, that's why I fucked up your boy doesn't equal 40 people stomp your head out, especially when the whole thing was my roommate's fault. But I did say that now you get a title shot thing, which I thought was pretty clever. Pretty clever line. And uh, Bibbs was there, actually. Bibbs was there for that. And then, uh, yeah, then Mike kicked him directly in the testicles, which must have been really, really uncomfortable for him. But uh, yeah, so I think the lesson from this one is I have standards when it comes to fighting. I'm not gonna just beat some guy up for no reason. And if I decide, and at that point, honestly, I was, I probably would have handled that different if I was younger. At that point of my career, like, it wasn't a joke about the title shot thing. Like, in terms of people in that town, I didn't need it. Like, if I'm going to fight a guy, I don't need 10 people helping me. Like, you're, you want a title shot? You're going to get a title shot. 10 guys? Uh-uh. I, I won't fight under those circumstances, 10 on one. Like, I just wouldn't do it. But, uh, but also, <laughs> I didn't earn it anyway. Anyway, so, yeah, don't be a pussy when you fight. That's the point of that. And that's what I got. If you like the channel, subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends. Let's go.